Woo! Make sure all my chats are set up. And then we're gonna get into the war. send this link to my discord copy Rebellion Jedi shirt. Oh, what map did I run into? Oh. Oh shit. If Darth Vader's here, that is a big, big, big problem. out of fucking range. Damn, they got Darth Vader protecting that shit hard. Ain't that a bitch. Oh, god damn. And he got me through saber deflection. Shit. This match is already over. I fucking came into a losing match. God damn. Oh, if they can override that fucker and put us into overtime, then we could push it, but... That's a big fucking if. Yeah, there's no overtime. This over. We're too late. The Imperial base is evacuated. And we've got a long road to the end of this. Period. 
Uh, I hit the wrong button. <coughs> oh, shit. I hit the wrong fucking button this whole time. Okay, I gotta play as the officer. Win as a defender. Okay, for the thousand two fifty. Silk up the okay. All right, credit challenge is on. Uh, I gotta try to use the heavy. Cause I gotta soak up damage as the heavy. And also, I gotta earn my crafting parts. Yeah, that's earn. Because <laughs> I earned every fucking thing I got in this game so far. My characters are powerful enough. Why is my gun smoking every time I run? What the hell? Like, my gun is like, <laughs> porting off exhaust Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> that was a dead end. Woo! Right, that was a good hit. What? Oh, that's outside. What the hell is he shooting? What kind of fucking blaster is that? I. <laughs> Override active in the Walker Bay. I want the rebels out of there. Rebels at the fuel station. Stalling an override. Well, that fucking guy came out made me nervous. Oh shit. Walker Bay override deactivated. Fucking ga gas, damn it. All right. Damn, this shit's still going. Get your big stormtrooper head ass out the way, motherfucker. Oh, but I still caught you with the triple kill with the grenade. Still caught you with the grenade. I already got a down vote just for me trying to have fun and play a game. Can't even get off work and play my damn game in peace, can I? Oh shit! Oh, oh damn, I walked right into a rubble double fuck. 
Okay, if I'm going close quarters, I think I should use my assault still. It says I got six people watching. Come on, guys. You guys are feel free to talk. Both supporters and people who just want to bitch at me. Go ahead and talk. I'm not going to stop you guys. You know. I give you guys freedom of choice here on what you guys choose to say. I'm not JTEC who restricts everybody. We're locked out at the main computer. Defend the fuel station and walk away. Handing li Yeah, I just got off like about 20 minutes ago. You know, changed right into my Star Wars shirt. Sweats and I now I just want to play. You know? I usually never stream during the week, but I said fuck it, why not? I owe some of my guys who support me a stream. You know? Got you, motherfucker. Handing L S. What's the LS stand for, uh, handling? If it stands... Oh, shit. If it stands for Los Santos from the GTA series, I will give you a hell of props for, for that name. Ah, oh, fuck. I had a good run. Oh, yeah, that's heavy. <laughs> Come on, we just gotta kill 23 more 23 of them in the victories for the Empire God damn Oh shit, well hey, I give you credit for the damn name If it stands up for Los Santos from GTA Dude, you fucking rock I, a lot of people say that my gaming name or channel name is stupid, but, you know, believe it or not, that name was not my original name. It was just a name that I was just trying to put my name for my PlayStation ID back on PS3. And then the PlayStation uh, suggestions popped up with it, and I figured, alright, it's easy for me to remember. I'll just roll with it. And I rolled with it ever since. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Ah, fuck, man. I was on the go. Damn, I really was on the go with that. If the match is over, I should use a death troop. Nah, fuck it. I'm not gonna waste. Does Rob play with you still? Yeah, he does. But, um... I think his dog had passed away, so... I don't know if he's gonna play for a little bit, you know... You know, let him grieve over the loss of his animal. The rebels overreached. Their force is broken. So will escape and or to fight revenge. Me, I'm just, you know. Usually I really don't get to play during the week and I just wanna I figured if I have a few hours to kill, you know, I should be resting right now for tomorrow, but I didn't have much of a busy day. Yeah. So I could just say I'm playing on his behalf, you know? A lot of people don't even know that I have... A lot of the people that watch him don't even know that I have a channel. You know? And I give Rob credit all the time. <laughs> How many hours do I work? I get up at 5 and I work from 6 to 3. Like, I literally had just walked in the door at 3. But my job is right across the street, and I get the weekends off, which is great. Which means I want to do this more. You know. Ah. Ah, fuck it, whatever. Had a connection loss. Let's see if I get the clone. Let's see if I get a Clone Wars era map. I really do love that. I like playing as the Separatists, and I never used to like playing as the droids. Hey, handing. Two people just dislike the video just because I'm playing Star Wars Battlefront. Ah, oh, come on. Don't fucking do the connection to me now. 
when it was just working fine. If it doesn't work, then I'll just probably play the campaign mode a little bit. Beat it. I'll probably beat it twice. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna give trying to load into a game one more try. I'm gonna try a different game mode. And if not, I'll just play some of the story. You know? I had already beat the game on the special, the specialist, uh, what do you call it? The, the spe spec op? Oh, whatever. I call it the fucking spec ops difficulty mode. But I know it starts with a specialist. There you go. I beat it on specialist difficulty, which took me eight to nine hours to complete. All right, let's try Starfighter Assault. <clears throat> Me and Rob, we always play Starfighter Assault, and he he was like, "Damn, John." Um, all right, fuck it. I'm gonna play some of the story. Also, this I'll be able to the story since I had already yeah, and I can go back and show you that I beat the game on the difficult the high difficulty because it gives me the reward. It's the is the servers on? It was just up, so maybe maybe they just need to reconnect. So if not, you, you guys are still gonna get Star Wars content, um, because the campaign mode has great moments and I love playing the the space battles in that one. They're, they're like heavily objective base. <clears throat> Plus, I want to go back and find the, the rest of the Easter eggs, too. Alright. Fuck it, we'll go to campaign. Play campaign. See, I... Oh, yeah, I had played it on Special Forces mode, but I'm just going to play it on Soldier, just so you know. We can use through some of this together and you guys could watch. If you haven't read Infernal Squadron, the book, I recommend you really read that book. That's one of the best Star Wars books. Old EU from the original Extended Universe was Death Troopers, Red Harvest, The Academy. There was a book that was just something along the lines of Dark. Captain, she's highly trained. Deception, infiltration, distraction. And, hey, Handling, let me know how well do you hear me and the game's audio. Oh, yeah, please, dude, listen to it. When you listen to it, this is basically the conclusion of Aiden's story, this video game. But the audiobook is 12 hours, and it makes the story in this game so much better. Dude, handling, if you can go look at my other videos, like pull up another tab and see the other videos, people are already trashing my other Star Wars Battlefront 2 videos, so I'm just gonna let them be. I've got the ability to help you out. Just give me the code. The actress who they got to play her in real life, she's an extremely gorgeous woman. You know we can really use someone like you. Like, if she was to be appear in a Star Wars film, like a one of the spin-offs. I would love to see that. I'm gonna get what I want eventually. My best technicians are slicing into your droid right now. As a matter of fact, let me fix that. Take on my offer. Okay. Tell me how well can you hear now? Because I might have to I just bought this new mic actually. But I know what it is. Um Rob helped me install a new hard drive a 
a portable hard drive and he says sometimes it can throw off the Bluetooth settings and all that that's why I, that's why I gotta hold the controller at a certain angle I could have sworn those aliens from Star Wars like spoke Spanish because I know nine nub spoke it All right, thanks handling. Thanks for letting me know Shock him shock the shit out of him Hero Mr. J look I don't, if you're coming to cause problems, look, I don't got time for it. I thought we, I thought you and I came to terms, you know, months ago. We haven't had any issues and I've, you know, I'm trying to tell you that we don't need to have any if, if you want to have any issues while I'm trying to play a game, right? Because, like, literally for months, I haven't even bothered with you because I wanted you to do your own thing and go out, go and play your games and you stream your stuff. So, I mean, don't pull a rags on all those people. Because, Mr. J, let's admit it. You and I both have, for some reason, you and I, you and I both have high tensions. Not with each other, but we're just, like, high tense people. Okay, if you can agree to that, at least. No, I didn't compare you to rags. That's what I'm saying. Listen clearly. I didn't say you were acting like rags. I just said don't pull and maneuver. Oh, fuck. My droid just died. Damn, I should have flew all the way through. Damn, I pulled, damn, I pulled a fucking shock out of my ass. When did I threaten you? I didn't threaten you like threaten threaten. I just gave you a warning to please stay out of a situation that I don't even want you to get dragged into a situation between me and another person I disagree with. Okay? I'm actually doing you a favor. Yeah, this is the story. Um Have I watched Punisher? No, and I'm going to this weekend on my days off. Mr. J, if you want to hear an honest opinion on the story, coming from a Star Wars fan, I don't know how much of a reader are you, but if you read, you know, audiobook or listen to audiobooks and so on, I recommend listening to Infernal Squad. Yeah, that was months ago, but didn't we had come to an arrangement after we got that out of our channel, like after we got that out of our sim systems? I thought you and I were settled like as long as we didn't have issues with each other we could go back because go back and forth and watch each other's channels without having beef what's up beat because i mean mr j if i had an issue with you now you know me I, a video would have popped up but did 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 i do that to you no okay oh, oh shit i don't want to get shocked now, like I'm saying, uh, Mr. J. No, I'm not saying you're... Here's the thing, Mr. J. If you fully, fully, fully hear me out on what I'm going to say, because that the dude, the Inquisition guy, even Ogre, uh, Mr. Racer, and you know Mr. Racer... Um... Hears me out just like beat beat hears me out thoroughly I 
I came to see what this boy is all about. I can see now that it... Huh. Yeah, I guess that's all you can say, Justin Bays. Anyway, Mr. J, what I'm saying is, I agree with everyone. I hate what EA did, but when if you can see the game beneath the um, the stuff that EA did to it, if EA hadn't done what they did to this game, yes, this would have been a really good good Star Wars game. I'm looking at the game beneath all that weight that was thrown on top of it. It's time. That's how I looked at it. So, you know, if you want to hear me thoroughly, uh, like if you want to anything to ask me about what I really mean or what I'm really saying, I mean, all you got to do is ask and I will give you... You know, you, you hear me thoroughly. Inquisition is a friend, but you also accused him of being the Legion. Well, you can understand my point of view. If there's anybody that comes at me like that, I'd automati automatically think. Because, you know, you even so yourself after everybody. So I figured if anybody that comes at me that, that seems like it's connected to JTEC, you know, I know it wouldn't have been you. Because you make it vocalized very quickly. But now that you're here, you know, let's put what Inquisition aside said of me or to me. What do you want to know? Like, what do you think I mean by what I say? So you can get the understanding yourself instead of hearing it from another. You know. He and JTAC have some issues, okay, well, whatever issues is between them, we're, it's not between, the, the issues are not between you and I. Admiral Akbar. <laughs> so... I need a gun. Now, I didn't say they're lying about the whole game. See, this is where... Um, you notice there were parts in the video that Legion was skipping over, right? I can tell when people are sk skipping over... They literally... He skipped over the critical parts that I was trying to make. He was just going for the parts that he thought I was using to back the game. Now... Now, come on, Mr. J. You can see that as of recent, for the past amount of time, you can say that I've been very... Ah, oh, fuck, I got caught. So much for being stealthy. Scan ahead. Shit. Ah, see, I fucking knew I missed something here. What I'm saying is, okay, Mr. J, if, if whenever I go to, okay, whenever I uh, finish playing a little bit of the story, and if you're still here to see this, I want you to be witness yourself. To, to I want you to be a witness that I'm gonna show you all my progress that I made without participating with the loot box. Now, let's be fair. As any reviewer or gamer, when you review a game, because I had to do this in the review and in the live stream to demonstrate what the loot box does in this game. That's what you have to do. You have to just, uh, demonstrate all aspects of the game. So, ever since then, I never participated in the loot box. Everything I did was through natural progression and I did the milestone and the challenges to get the things I need to get to for the character and ever since then I haven't had to. I haven't had to, to use it. 
So, do you have any recommendations for good shows on Netflix? That's a tough one. I haven't been on Netflix in a, in a hot minute. I would say, have you ever watched Red vs. Blue? It's like a funny parody. It's a funny Halo parody show. So, Mr. J, feel free, if you have to, feel free to download the video that they, that I had uploaded, uh, the one that Inquisition did about me, okay? The video that he used to go through. Listen carefully for yourself. And listen carefully to the video, to, to some of the other things prior. You know, beep. B always analyzes what I say. Racer, Lego Man, all the guys that follow me closely can see that that's what I did. I analyzed it properly. Purge complete. There's nothing for the rebels to learn. B, you know they're working on um bringing back the Commando series as Imperial Commando for the new canon, right? But it's not from Dice or EA. It's from the other companies that have the game. Or that have the rights to the game, to, to license and make games. Ooh. I'm on the move. Okay. So, oh shit. Oh, uh, here's the thing, Beat. If they was to do Knights of the Old Republic, they could remaster the first two games into one game and make it fit into the new canon. And it's possible because there's not a lot of new canon books that are covering the Old Republic. And if it's true that Ryan Johnson announced a new trilogy, and if it becomes the Old Republic, that's the time. We can actually get the Old Republic finally, because I really do want Old Republic. I'm, I'm with you, 100. I... I don't know. Unless Disney finds a, a better company, because remember, for the longest time, the fans were demanding a Battlefront game. And unfortunately, EA was the one that had to provide it. I wish Pandemic or those guys were still around that could have done it. Because, I don't know if you guys know this. Who else played Star Wars Battlefront Elite Squadron on the PSP? I just, you know, let me know in the con uh, let me know, did you guys ever play? Knights of, um, no, it's Star Wars Elite Squadron on PSP. Because I'm going to drop a bombshell on you guys of information that I don't know if you guys actually knew about. No? Okay. Hold on, let me scan this room, make sure nobody's about to shoot me in the ass. Yeah. All right. I'm going to tell you guys right now about I'm going to tell you guys about what Star Wars Battlefront 3 the original was going to be. Before Battlefront 3, like when it was in the process of being canceled, they took the story and the gameplay mechanics of Battlefront 3, the original, and ported it to the PSP as Elite Squadron. So, if you go and if you look at Elite Squadron and look at that pre-alpha or that, you know, in development game footage for Battlefront 3, it's the same thing. It's the same storyline. 
they just ported it over to the PSP. So the PSP Star Wars Battlefront Elite Squadron is the long wanted Battlefront 3. When I found that out and the connections were true, it, it baffled me. So, hold on. Let me f fix the comment section thing over here. It fucked up on me. Okay, there we go. Now, um, fucking heck. God damn it. Let's get the hiccups. Um, Star Wars Battlefront 3 is on the PSP as Elite Squadron. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you did not know that. Or if you were, tr you know, if anybody was a hardcore Star Wars gamer, that's, that's like the biggest shock to anybody. Because I have Elite Squadron, Rogue Squadron, uh, isn't it Rogue Squadron? No, it's Renegade Squadron. What the frick am I thinking? I was just, I probably got Rogue One on the mind. Oh no, I just finished reading the Rogue One Catalyst novel, that's why. But, Renegade Squadron on the PSP and Elite Squadron is basically Star Wars Battlefront 3. Yeah, I kept getting confused, B. It's, it, it was Renegade Squadron on the PSP. Because I also got the Rogue Squadron games as well, so... You know, you can understand where the confusion would come from. But, B, you, at least you were able to acknowledge the games that he said didn't... Are, like, Adam, that I pulled out of my ass. They are real and they are legitimate. Yo, if you guys read the book, that fucking guy Hask is a bastard. In the book, he was a fucking bastard too. Those jump calculations were perfect. Thank you, ma'am. The landing wasn't too rough. Been through worse. Remember the Jabez incursion? Still haunts my dreams. Contact the admiral. Yes, commander. And the message? The fleet's location is still safe. Today, the rebellion died. See, the way the game is presented, though, and story-wise, it feels like a Star Wars story spinoff. Like, something we could see in, like, like Rogue One and the upcoming Han Solo film. You know? They're, they're, they might be considering on bringing Starkiller in at some point as official. You know, there's so many hints to him in Rebels. Also, Operation Cinder, which is what people said is the stupid part of the story mode, is actually in the book. How would you feel if the Emperor was going to destroy your homeworld just to send fear throughout the galaxy? Understood, Commander. 
You know, that's how the Empire was. They would destroy their own just to make a point. I have forced Unleash on the uh, DS, PSP, the Wii, PS2, and I had it on PS3. Wait, what am I doing? Yeah, it is. Oh, and get this. When you read the book, the Force Unleash novel, you know that the Star Killer clone is not really a clone in the cuz the novel had released the secret that Star Killer that was him. Vader just took the body and annihilated his mind like used the force to uh erase his mind. Yeah, so, come on. The shit that the Empire does in this game makes complete sense. Now, Aiden, even in the book, she had signs of good in her. No one is ever truly evil or bad. It's just, like, it's the path they walk down. It's over. Bunker is secure. Show me threat. And I mean, come on, everyone knows that about Star Wars. Everyone is gray until um, they truly walk the path they, they walk. More rebels. Wait for my signal. Yes, Commander. That fucking impact grenade is a handy son of a bitch. I know, well, mind you, if you being raised as an, as an Imperial, you can understand that she still has, you know, Imperial tendencies. Hey, let's give her some credit. She doesn't shoot like a stormtrooper. What the fuck? Oh, where am I getting shot from? Oh, God. Oh, behind. Oh, sneaky fucks. They were coming up at me from other directions. She has an aim bot on her back. Oh, the little the little droid on her back. Oh, wait, what the fuck? Oh. Not only that, you guys can agree. These characters are voice acted so well, presented so well. You know, you can feel who these people are. You know, everyone should know that Hask is a dick. Delmico is conflicted. She is battling the confliction at this point. We should move carefully. We don't know how many rebels are out there. No, we'll deal with them the same as the rest. Today we wipe out that scum once and for all. And that's when the Death Star went kaboom. Well, I mean, B, you're, you're, you're entitled to how you feel about it, you know? Oh, I'm not going to argue with that. Maybe it's because I read the book, and I know these characters up to this point. Now, I do agree. They should have did, like, 
if they really wanted to tell the story, they should have made the story mode. They should have included the Infernal Squadron book as the first part of the story mode, and then this part as like the ending point, the middle and the ending. Because this this story mode is basically the ending of Aiden's story, you know, the ending point. We won't kill him. I'm not that much of an ass. Commander, I put eyes on a rebel ambush. We lost a shuttle and our men are overrun. Keep scouting, agent. We'll see what we can do. Scan the area. Goddamn right, it's the Infernal Squad. I mean, be, when you get, um, you know, I don't know how much are you, if you're big on reading the books or audio books, I'd highly recommend reading Infernal Squad. Something else blow. Oh, you wing. Be ready, Agent Hack. Looking for enemies. Shh. Officer. Oh, yeah, these sons of bitches. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, eliminate the enemy officer. Yeah, it would be, because I'm telling you, um, if you learn the skills of Infernal Squadron from the books, Aiden is one, if not, you know, besides, besides Princess Leia and Padme, well, when Padme was a warrior during the whole Geonosis battle, Um, she is, she, this, this character, she is very conflicted, that's what I'm saying, like, she's a gray, despite being raised as an imperial, she's a gray, damn it. But here's the thing, you can see that I don't fully 100% because if I was if I was truly like say supporting EA with this game, wouldn't this game have made my game of the year? No, it did not. 
Lord of the Rings, uh, the Middle Earth Shadow of, um, War did. No, why did I put a flash grenade? I still want my grenade. And why did I get rid of the goddamn... Fuck! I keep messing up my, um, card choice. No, I don't want the shield. I just want the... God damn it. Something is gonna fuck me up here. Um... Shit. Okay, I just fixed it. And also, certain parts of the comic books and dialogue from the books are ripped straight into this game. Like, they are literally put right into this game. Oh, fuck. They, they just took over a goddamn ATST. Come on, rocket reload. Did the robot really shock him? Remember in the in the first Star Wars Battlefront, they had that that one blaster that was just like a shotgun. It's a legitimate gun in the Star Wars Lords. Yeah, it's like a shotgun. I know it is. It's just like it, but it... yeah, I'm not gonna bullshit with you. The first time I saw a shotgun in Star Wars, I flipped shit. Yeah, hold on, hold on. I want to see if this stuff over here I got to secure. Okay. Nothing of interest. Make it at least a double barrel and automatic. <laughs> yeah, you're right about that. I really do fucking hate Hask. Hask, his real name is Gideon. To those of you who don't know the story of the Infernal Squad. Now, believe it or not, Beat, if you can tell me this, I've never been called an apologist, obviously, until the Inquisition guy called me one. And I honestly forgot what the word apologist meant. You know. Scan ahead. That's why I didn't know if I should have felt offended or honored or <laughs> any of that shit. Like, oh great, he's doing a live stream. That's an honor. I know it's to fuck with me, but hey, it's an honor. You know, because I never insulted the guy, and he also adds insults at me while... I'm doing his video. I'll cover you until you escape. No. Dude, I'm just looking at the hate comments pour on the other video because I keep getting notifications from it. Damn it, I missed. Oh shit. Could you look it up for me real quick? 
I mean, if you got the quick second. I'm on my way. Where the fuck's my back scratcher? Ah, whatever. Oh, someone or something. Okay, so let's use that analogy. Someone like EA. I wasn't defending them. Something like the core game beneath all the bullshit, I will defend the game that's being blocked by all the bullshit that EA put on top. That's a fair analysis. And the space combat in this game is so much improved from the, um, from the two 2015 version. You know, beat the flying mechanics are much closer to the 2005 version than they than they were in the last game. And I can tell you that for a fact, because I, I still have my Battlefront 2 up there and I play it, you know, time to time. Shit, I gotta be careful. I hate flying through the debris, even in multiplayer. What is it, Hask? The Corvus was damaged by the Death Star explosion. Engines are down, but the crew is making repairs. Get the rendezvous coordinates from the Admiral. Hey, Commander, I think there are quite a few ship signals outside the debris field. Any of them Imperial? Not many. Retreated or destroyed. What about the Admiral Star Destroyer? The eviscerator is positioned near the Corvus. It appears to be fully functional. At least Hask isn't alone on the Corvus. We might actually make it out of this alive. Hey, B, can you go to my videos and see because I, cause I keep getting notifications like tons of notifications not from the stream but for other video it check the video prior uh, the video that that's before the stream video and could you point out what they're saying Like hell they are. See what's also very hypocritical from um, the PlayStation Inquisition guy is that nobody like bitches at other reviewers when they have to demonstrate how some of the bullshit things in video games work like Angry Joe. He had to demonstrate how the loot boxes work and I doubt he was given that much flack. So I mean, come on now. Yeah, I kind of figured. I just wanted you to confirm that.
Dang it, where's that spray? I need the freaking spray from my back. There we go. This will stop some of the cramps I get from work. I probably will after I do all this. Damn it. I just messed up the damn cushion on my chair. There we go. Motherfucker, you're dead. What are you doing talking shit? Take a look at the hate comments when the cutscene flows. Maybe I can get a good laugh. Yeah, those comments are actually pretty hysterical. I guess those guys, those guys are still at insult levels of kindergarten. It's very sad and actually hilarious when I think about it. Oh shit. Once we're clear, we should attack the rebel cruiser. How would I do that, Agent Hask? Seeing as 
You motherfucker. Dauntless needs to restore power. Let's take out those rebel ion cannons. Yes, Commander. Then we shall decimate the rebels. Do respect, sir. Once your systems are online, you should flee the system with the satellites. Like a coward? Absolutely not. Agent Hask, enemy fighters closing in. They're done. Where's the other one? Oh shit. Dad, this is gonna be narrow as fuck. I can't shake this fighter. Gotcha. You're clear. Yo, that was narrow as hell. We go. Damn, that's fucked up. You left him on the other side of the door to get shot. I killed myself. Uh, I think I'm going to try to go back to the multiplayer, see if it's operational. The Death Star will be fully operational when your friends arrive. Ah. Uh, I guess those pathetic, sorry sons of bitches just want to keep adding dislikes for no reason. Ay, 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 ay.
What sad, pathetic excuse of time and life those fuckers may have. Oh, sweet. Clone Wars era. Okay. Yeah, we're finally in a Clone Wars era match, so... Huruka! You pish got a lot. Which is strange, in the first game and in the originals, I was always a third person person. <laughs> third person person. Now I play first person in this one. Oh, fuck. us fuck in front of us what god damn there's so many damn variable spots we can get blasted from Yeah, go on, uh, beat. Do what you gotta do, man. Go relax. Even though you showed up, you know, you showed up for a pretty good amount of time, it's appreciated. Yeah, you know what's funny? I went and checked out the, the guys over at Star Wars HQ, which I like watching their channel a lot. They don't get hate comments or stuff to this degree when they play Battlefront 2, and I've looked at it. Like, it's so hypocritical how people are when it comes to what they pick to hate and don't hate, bitch or don't bitch. Oh shit, there's a Yoda.
Oh, that, I knew that fucker was gonna kill me. It was a super battle droid. I knew death was gonna come for me in a minute. Victory for the Republic! Him through Discord while the game loads. Check at Twitter. All I gotta say for the people who hate this video, I bet they won't go to my Twitter account. And tweet their uh, tweet what they gotta say. God damn, my fucking legs and arm got popped off. Hold on. Let me give one little response to these guys that keep adding hateful comments because I bet they won't come to the stream
All right, now let's see how long, let's see how long before those cowardice fools come to the page, or come to the stream. Because I just had to send them invitations to feel free to come. Bunch of two-bit cowards. Did Darth Maul just get summoned to the field? Because I freaking heard, at last we will have our revenge. Oh shit. Oh shit, what's killing me? What the fuck? Oh, the damn gunship. Oh shit, the ghost mall, which he's about to die. Oh shit. Oh damn. Damn, I got shot with a pistol from that distance. That's wild. Views don't make people trash. Okay? It's called being grateful to those who actually come and watch you. And I'm grateful to my friends who come and watch, you know? I could pay less attention to the stream and I could just still play and have a good time. But, like I said... Those guys won't dare leave comments, because even if they do, they'll just get trashed and destroyed. Like all the rest. Oh, Kylo Ren. It's funny how they, they could just keep leaving comments on the other video, but they won't dare say anything in the stream. Hypocritical cowards. Oh, shit. Bounce out the way. Oh, yeah. I was going to blow up from that one. I knew I was going to die from that one. Oh shit, Yoda. That's not gonna be good. Because if Yoda comes this way, uh, yeah. Doomed. 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 Oh, 
And I guarantee- Oh shit, they brought Yoda this way. They fucking brought Yoda this way. Somebody kill the little green fucker! God damn! Yeah, get them all. Fucking jet trooper. Ah, oh, goddamn jet troopers. One final effort and the hangar is ours. Not good, Chewbacca. Shit, Emperor Palpatine. God damn it, I got blown the fuck up. The fusion core is within range. Complete the operation and we cripple the clone army. Fail and the enemy reinforcements will destroy you. Shit, I'm blind. I'm blind. A fucking droid can get blinded somehow. Damn it, I need to get a grenade so I can pop it off right. Damn it. Damn it, I'm blind. God damn it.
Yeah, Republic Hero on site, motherfucker. It's called Darth Vader on site. Now I just gotta play carefully, though. Damn it. Where the fuck did Darth Maul and all those other guys go? Like, I was literally doing that shit by myself. I almost killed Yoda. I almost fucking killed Yoda single handedly. But these guys didn't even back me up. Yeah, we're not even gonna go into overtime for this one. Goddamn. Ah, fuck it. That was a good show, though. Damn, somebody was rocking with Chewbacca. Okay, I almost got my sharpshooter done. And my assaults, so I'm gonna get my new gun soon. See what map we're playing on. I know we're playing as the Rebellion, but is it most Isley? Or something, I don't know. Oh yes, it's most Eisley. I love this map. The Empire's been tipped off about our cell in most Eisley. We have to hold the stormtroopers back while we're ready an evacuation. We're not leaving our people behind. Delay the enemy at the junkyard and cantina. And remember the civilians. We're fighting at someone's home.
Good God almighty. I tell these guys to come face me in the stream, yet they won't do it. They'll just continue to comment, comment, comment somewhere else, and not here. What the fuck? Oh, shit. Hey, yeah, yeah, I don't know how many times I gotta tell these guys. Jeez, these guys are so spineless, they won't even come to the stream. There we go. Now let me get back to the precious game time. Hey, these guys are so rude. Guess they weren't got. Guess their parents must have been drinking, or the moms must have been drinking when they had them, because they don't even know the difference between right and wrong. Oh shit! Woo! Get in the cover. God damn it! Ah, fuck it. I, did, I tried. <laughs> Got your back. Which way are they coming through? Oh shit. Throwing. Woo! TIE Fighter, duck. Man, I swear. The guys that just come to dislike and hate. You guys are just as spineless as JTEC. That's all I gotta say. Ooh! In the cover. Fuck, I didn't overheat the gun right. There we go. I hear an ATST out there. Heard the little clicking or the clank it makes when it walks. Let's go find out. Oh shit! I walked right into the middle of a battle. Someone said, oh, shit.
Oh, the fuck? Oh. That was a hell of an ass shot. Oh, goddamn, 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 goddamn. Fuck, wrong door. Oh, shit, he's right in my face. Dodge that, motherfucker. Oh, shit. Oh! Thank you, Yoda, but you came a little too late. Damn, Yoda, you came too late to save my ass. And we won. Ah, no more comments. No more comments going on my other video. Good job, Colin, 1987. You playing as Yoda. Props, man. Survived. <sighs> Now we're playing the Imperial to Assault. Alright. I could work with that. I still want to unlock this gun right here, which I'm not that far off from. That's the gun from the Resistance. Just having a talk like excuse me soldiers or troopers you need to be out there in the field why y'all flirting with this rebel spy let's not let's see let, let, let's duck below get the view eh, it's probably the pants she's not too bad in the face she's got that Latin look to her got that Hispanic Star Wars in her Ooh. God damn it. Oh, he used the automatic pistol. Fuck. Not the single fire. What's the plan? Throwing. 
Oh shit. So, can I jump on top of the junk? I'm stuck. I'm stuck. No, I'm not. Fucking Nader. Oh, god damn. What'd I get shot? Oh. From the fucking top. Right God damn. Oh shit, I didn't even see a fucking grenade there. Damn, they're fucking holding that position hard. What's the plan? Oh, finally, one of those fuckers left a comment. Still not a comment in the stream because they're too scared to come. But they left it on the videos talking about my sub count. Like, what's that got to do with anything? Like, really? That just shows that they can't contest 
if they have to bring up things that have nothing to do with what's at hand. This next dose of overtime is being contested like hell. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that was a tremendous comeback. stick with the officer. Oh fuck, it's Lando. Rebel commander on the ground. Throwing grenade. Squads to the auction house. Complete final lockdown. <laughs> auction house secure. The rebels will cluster at the bazaar. I tried really hard. Damn it, we're not even gonna get overtime. Oh, we might. It says contested. Know the power of the dark side. Okay, now we got heroes in the field. And they're playing uh, March on the Jedi Temple music. That was the... Fuck. Okay, that overtime meant shit. <laughs> okay, let's see the sub count. Or oh, let's not see the sub count. Let's see what the guy said. Because he's bringing up things that don't even... Damn it, I'm so fucking close. I'm not even gonna respond to that moron.
I'm gonna give you guys a different game mode. A lot of Galactic Assault. If not, I am probably starting to wane down a little bit. I should rest. I did play a lot. Or at least a little bit. Eh. Now, before I do get off, actually, you know what? I'm not going to play another mode. I'm going to show something to you guys. All these, I earned naturally through progression. Because I did challenges to get the crafting parts. I didn't get those from the loot bins. Because look. You can craft. And upgrade with craft. I've been able to do the challenges to get them. To craft those abilities. I even crafted those abilities for my heroes. Which Kylo, Luke, and Rey are my main. I'm trying to make Darth Maul my main. But that's difficult. As a matter of fact. Let me... I should craft a part for him. I haven't done that. Okay. Now I could earn more crafting parts later, but... At least I gave Maul a new power. So... To the guys who do enjoy my channel, thank you for coming. To the haters that just want to bitch and complain... Hey, thank you for showing up too. Probably next time when I stream, actually say something in the comments. Don't just keep commenting on another video. Because just by doing that, you guys are just proving your spineless little pricks. So, till next time guys. Hope you enjoyed.